Welcome back to MTN Live in the Mountains. As promised, we have uh, John Roselli here with us. Um, from the last time that you came, yes. we talked about having you here cooking on the show. And this is our first time here in uh, Mountain Television having a cooking segment. And a I'm cooking, yes. I'm <laughs> very excited because as most of you may know, my favorite topic is food. So, um, and he's here to show us, we're going to have a, a, a traditional Italian meal. So, and there's no... Um, no, you can't have an, an Italian meal without a salad first. you got to have a salad first, <laughs> yes. And I'm going to be making the Granny Roselli salad, which my mother invented in 1966. Okay. Yes. And, of course, we have all of these. We're going to be using all of the uh, Granny Roselli products. And I tell you, I've had all three, and they're delicious. And I'm actually really excited to eat it again. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> so what are we going to start with okay. today? Well, we are going to make Granny Roselli's salad with the dressing and her no salt seasoning. Ooh. And we're going to use romaine lettuce because it's very crispy. I mm -hmm. like that. And we have heirloom tomatoes that I bought at the, the local farmer's market this morning. All right. And we have some croutons if you would like. Right. And I, croutons are yes. the best. I, I'm sorry. They're just the uh, best. <laughs> so I, I picked out a, a great head of uh, romaine this morning and make sure there's no um, any dirt or anything in it. I got them to wash it for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut it up in small pieces as we, as you see. I'm going to put it in here, and you can be just mixing as I go. Mixing if you, as you go. Yes. All right. Then I'm going to cut up a yellow tomato that is heirloom and cut out this bad spot. They didn't use chemicals, so uh, you might have a little bad spot that you have to cut out. That's okay. Then Chemical I'm, free is good. That's <laughs> right. I'm going to dice these. All right. Okay have a consistent cut. I always but, have trouble when I'm cutting tomatoes because they get, I smush them by accident. That's so right. What is the best way to, do uh, you have any like tips a, for a very, very sharp like, knife. Very sharp knife. Very <laughs> sharp knife. And if you get a tomato too mushy, as you said, they will fall apart. So you might have to get one that. So is, it's all about the quality of the tomato. That's I've been right. getting the bad quality tomato. That's my problem. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to put the red ones in there. And this is great color with the yellow oh, and the yes. red and the green. It looks, I, I'm all about like, you know, a good presentation, right. which is good. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, and it's Christmas, uh, except for the yellow, maybe Christmas colors. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're going to put Granny's dressing. All right. Go ahead. Okay. And you can put as much or little you like. Then you mix that up and we see what it looks like. Okay. Now, I do have some tongs if you'd like to use them. Yeah, the, I'm using, my hands are clean. <laughs> but yeah, so we can go that way or that route. Yeah, e either way you want. Let's do that. Okay. You know me, I like to get my hands well, down and dirty. <laughs> All right, this is looking good. Okay, it looks good. And then we have my mother's seasoning, mm -hmm. and we put just a little bit on top. Now, what makes the seasoning special? What's the secret? Is it uh, a secret or? It's not a secret. It has celery seeds, poppy seeds, mm. uh, a, a touch of Parmesan cheese in it, but no salt. No salt. No salt. So, so it gives that salad an extra flavor without uh, the extra sodium. Would you like to taste? Of, because we. Of course. <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> we might need to add a little bit more dressing. So you, you, I'm gonna you tell, tell you me what you think. Some of this. Oh, wait a minute. You know what we forgot? The croutons. Yes. <laughs> I'm a bread girl. I okay. can't leave out the croutons. Okay, these are Italian seasoned croutons. And I'm going to put some right in there. All right. And you can mix it back up again. And this is this meal that we're making today is is good to kind of um, you know for, uh, during the holidays you kind of get all of the same stuff like yes. your turkey and ham and your your sides you know your traditional sides and vegetables and and that is so good but if you're like me I go to a couple different houses a lot and it's kind of the same thing That's so right. this is a nice Italian meal to kind of um, switch it up a little switch bit. It. That's right. So. And if someone invites you over, you can just take. The dressing okay. and a, mm -hmm. a head of lettuce and just make it in front of them Absolutely. and be the head of the party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go okay. right into this. 
And I've always, I have, a, I have, a, I've always wanted to got some seasoning on this one to be okay. that person who got to eat on camera yes. and everybody at home is <laughs> watching, going, "Oh, I wonder what that tastes like." So here I go. This is exciting for me. Mm. Okay, good. That is so good. Okay. The crisp and the, the lettuce. Yes. But the, the seasoning is so perfect, and it's just perfect. Okay. So it's, it's, it's in the business, it's wet enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's cause, perfect. Because you don't want the salad to drip. Uh, yeah, no, and it's okay. not falling off of, or anything. So instead of double dipping, I'm going to mm -hmm. put some back on my plate. Okay. And I told you I was going to help you, but you put food in front of me. <laughs> so I don't know how much of help I'm going to be. Now, <laughs> now, you can always come back and mm -hmm. add just a touch more on top to give it a little color. All right. Yeah. And I will it's get so one of these good. heirloom tomatoes. Mm. Mm. That seasoning is what makes it. I love that seasoning. That is so good. Mm. So simple and easy. And you get, you've got so you've got a salad, and it took us four minutes. Four minutes, yes. Mm -hmm. And when my mother and father used to have the restaurant, that was the only salad dressing they had. Mm -hmm. And and they would make it in a gigantic bowl in the back, mm -hmm. and take it out to the tables, and people would just dig in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I see now. Like, if you've just got to taste this. It has such a good flavor, and it's different, and I, the seasoning, to me, is the best part. Um, it pairs up with the um, the dressing perfectly. Oh, yes, it does. Um, well, thank you. So, and it's not overpowering. Like, it's not so much dressing, because I used to be that person who would just... Right. I had a little bit of lettuce and, like, half the bottle yes. of dressing, <laughs> but this is perfect. And, and as you can see, we didn't use a lot of right. dressing mm -hmm. for... Not that was enough for, what, two people, yeah. three people? Yeah, and mixing it up and... And just getting it all on the pieces is just That's perfect. right. And also, you can always add grilled chicken, grilled shrimp. Mm-hmm. Shrimp, yes. I'm yes. a seafood girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. and, it, and it doesn't have to be with an Italian meal. It can be with any salad. That's right. So. All right. So what else um, okay. uh, are we going to be doing now? Uh, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to make some small meatballs, okay. Italian meatballs. Alrighty. Which are gluten free. Put this over here. Okay. You want to grab the bowl? Okay. I have two All bowls right. here. We got. Let's see. Should I just That's take okay. this away? Yeah. You can. Go ahead oh, and thank you. Slide it over. Okay. And this box right here has all my secret. Oh gosh. Uh, can you? Let you me get it? that for you. Sorry. That's okay. It's a little heavy. So I've never made meatballs before. I've always been scared to cook that I would cook them on too quickly and the middle wouldn't be done right. or, or it would just be burnt on the outside. So as you're going through this, you need to tell us the secret of how to get the okay. perfect meatball cooked all the way through. Right. <laughs> uh, cook at 350 for about 20 minutes. All depends how big you make the meatball. Right. But that's a good rule of thumb. Right. 350. Okay. Okay. We What I have in this bowl okay. is ground beef very lean and ground pork very lean okay and i got some ingredients right. and i'm going to use excuse me for bending down <laughs> we have a small studio <laughs> okay now i'm going to put now do you want to get your hands in this meat of course okay, okay good so i'm going to put some okay and how much is this is this about a pound did you say uh, or? Yes, so okay. this was probably about a half a pound of each. Right here, okay. Yes. Half a pound of each. Just kind of mix it And I'm going to move this over here. Okay. I have my little measuring cup. And let's see, the eggs, may I bend down here? Oh, and absolutely. Get, I'm sorry. No, well, you're okay. Great. And then you can put the finished meatballs in that to go into the oven. All right. Okay, now we're going to crack an egg. Oh, into there. Into the meatballs. So there's mix. eggs in this. So tell me, so tell tell us why there are eggs in this. That will hold it together. It's a good binding uh -huh. material. Okay. Yes. And I got I need to change gloves. <clears throat> now this is garlic powder. I put about a tablespoon. Okay. okay. This is for half. 
Yes. This is for half. So just mix it all up in there That's and get right. your hands all dirty. That's right. <laughs> Now we're going to put some dry parsley, okay. or if you have some fresh, you can cut it up very fine and put it in. All right. Okay. Okay, we don't want to, I put the cat back here, so we don't want to drop the garlic all over the studio. <laughs> now some black pepper. Okay, just to taste however yes. much mm -hmm. you think you like. Okay. There we go. And then my favorite, cream. Okay, and so this is new. This yes. is new. So what? what that is this? will hold it together and give it a richness. Okay. Yes. So just you, mix it all in. You there. don't want meatballs to be dry. No. Okay. Look then, at all of it. Oh yes. You <laughs> might have to add. Might have to get a little bit more uh, meat. Okay. In that. Okay. There we go. Just mix it all together. And some grated Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, now you're talking. All right. There we go. How's so that? This is going to be good because when you bite into the meatball, it's just going to have this nice burst of flavor and the cheese is just baked right into That's it. That's right. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Oh, that's looking great. Yeah? I'm going to put okay. a dab more parsley okay. for color. Okay. So just mix it all together. Now, if you have a mix at home, you can use a mixer, but oh, this get, is more getting fun. your hands into it is, yeah. is yes. You gotta put your muscles into yes. it. Yes. Okay. So you good. don't want to do too much because that, much. that okay. will make make it get tough. Okay. The meatball is tough, so. All right. So now, so now we're good and mixed, and it looks just about like this. Now we have to decide what size. Okay. Of course, that, that could be one meatball. <laughs> Be a big meat Okay, uh, so what do you think? Just break it off? Yes, and. There we go. Now, my mother, Oops. from doing this for 30 years, uh -huh. she had a technique. Okay. Which I. You just have to. Just, that's right. Yeah. Look at that, that's perfect. Yeah. Mine's not that perfect. Okay. Oh. Yes? Wait, yes. Is that too big? Is that yep. good? You know what you might need is is uh, change gloves. Change gloves. Because the meatballs are sticking to your gloves. Okay. So. Alrighty. Yeah. That's why I have a whole box of gloves. Smart. He yeah. came prepared today. Seriously, this is good because now since this is our first cooking show, I'll know what to, to tell people to bring. Uh, next time we have other people on. Yes. So you've brought everything, even down to the garbage bag, which is perfect. <laughs> and um, I should have known that because I watch Rachel Ray and she always has a garbage bag. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yes, she does, <laughs> doesn't she? She does. So so we go ahead and we make a couple of these. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. There and then go. once you, and you can, and you can put them side by side so it doesn't really matter. Um, no. They won't really stick together or anything like that. Do you need to spray the pan or anything before? You can. You I, I, that's one thing I did forget was the, the spray, to spray the pan. Just keep them from sticking. Keep them from sticking, yes. Okay, and while we're doing this, your noodles are boiling, of yes, course. Yes, that's right. Um, and and I, I used uh, uh, gluten-free uh, rigatoni to make this dish today. And so the entire dish is gluten-free, which is awesome for those who like to steer clear of the gluten and try to eat healthy. Yes. Um, and so you can get the gluten-free pasta, and this part right here is all gluten-free with the spices and even every everything that goes into it is gluten-free. That's correct. Um, and then, of course, the salad. <laughs> okay, so then, after our noodles are done... Okay, uh, yes, uh, now... Here's some meatballs I made at home, but they're not as pretty as what you did. <laughs> uh, so, but this is what they look like when they get done. But okay. as you can tell, they're not that pretty like these. So I'm not even going to let people see them. <laughs> but uh, now, Let's, you would put those in the oven, 350, okay. maybe 35 minutes. Okay. You just test them. What you do, just get one and get a fork and cut it in cut half. Cut it in half and make sure it's done all the way done, through. Done, and then you can eat that okay. as a snack. Yeah, of course. There's always <laughs> we, snacking in the kitchen always when snacking. you're cooking. Um, and so then you've got your meatballs done here, and your pasta is almost done. Almost done, yes. And then you kind of mix them together, or what do you, what do, you do? Okay, so what we, I will get the pasta okay. that's already made. 
Excuse me, I don't want to be in front of you. No, you're fine. Okay. So I cooked the rigatoni. And Look at that. That looks so and good. And then I put the meatballs on top with Granny Roselli's pasta sauce. Okay. Which was... And you can heat up more sauce mm -hmm. and just put it right on top. Oh, like yeah. Like this. That looks good. Now, is there any cheese or? Yes, there's uh, Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, you can add uh, mozzarella uh, if you like. Or feta cheese. Is feta good? Or feta, no? feta is good if you want to have kind of a Greek okay. slant. Mm -hmm. That is great. Then you can come also add black olives mm -hmm. or green, black and green olives with the feta cheese. Mm -hmm. So you, you got kind of a Greek Italian. pasta dish. Yes, yes, definitely. And then you put cheese on this all right okay and then so you put the noodles in there and then put everything on it like this and then do you you put it back in the oven put it back in the oven and bake it around 45 minutes at 350. all right so That's you could simple. have the meatball yeah. uh, and the baked uh, rigatoni at the same time if you got some meatballs already made mm -hmm. yeah yes all right well wonderful this is an easy dish to make Yes. Um, and it's healthy, gluten-free, um, and it's good homemade pasta sauce. It's not like the kind that you're going to get, um, like, I don't want to drop any, uh, name, any names or anything, but like ragu or anything like right. that. This is, this is like, definitely, what do you call it? Like, it's, it's, it's true Italian. True Italian. True Italian, there you yes. go. All right, well, I am dying to dig into this. Okay, let me get you a new fork. Oh, that's okay. I can oh, you got one? Okay. Yeah, go ahead and use this one. All right, I'm gonna just dive right in here. Okay, now that's, Oops, that sorry. You. We need a more steady of play. That's okay, I'll just do the whole thing. <laughs> mm. That is so good, oh my goodness. And you can use any kind of pasta. I, I, I love rigatoni because it's, it's kind of big and easy mm -hmm. to eat. And, mm -hmm. But uh, you oh can also goodness. make baked spaghetti with it. Mm -hmm. This is so good, I'm glad I learned how to make Mm, excuse me, I'm talking with my mouth. That's okay. <laughs> I'm glad I learned how to make the meatballs because that's something I've, I've always wanted to know. I, for some reason, I always thought you cooked them on top of the stove. Well, you can you can fry them, mm -hmm. but baking them is is more healthy. More healthy, and you, it, it gets it for an even cook. That's right, even so, cook, yes. That's why I've been doing it wrong. Right. And plus, I haven't had the stuff to make them hold together, which is what the egg and the cream was for, which is... Fantastic. So, um, <clears throat> tell us a little bit, you know, how did this sauce come about? Your mom and dad used to own a... My mother and father had a restaurant in Wilkes County mm -hmm. for many, many years. And I grew up in the restaurant business. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it comes natural to me. And, you know, mom and dad always in the kitchen making sauce, making meatballs. Mm -hmm. But then mother would do traditional, you know, North Carolina cooking, like mm -hmm. fried chicken and chocolate cake. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> Maybe on the next time we're here, yeah. I might do that. Okay. Because there's nothing like some good old fried chicken and chocolate cake. That's right. <laughs> well, this was so delicious. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing, bringing this in. And, um, and this is a simple meal. Like I said, definitely, um, if you want to change it up a little bit over the holidays and have an Italian Christmas, you definitely can do that. That's right. Um, so maybe, you know, the next you know, if you host something towards the end of the season, say, hey, we're going to have something a little different. And, and you can pick up these items, the seasoning salt for the salad, the salad dressing, and the sauce at, at Lowe's, Lowe's Foods and Ingles. All right. Boone, so it's North right Carolina. here in Boone. So um, definitely That's right. when you got your when you go in to get your uh, Christmas list of items for your um, dinner, be sure to pick up some of these because they're delicious. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you again, Oh, you're John. very welcome. This is so good. Great. All right. We hope to have you back. Yes, I want to come back. Yes, yes definitely. I do. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. Thank you.